We are five days out from the May primary election, so only five more days of those TV ads, right? Well, this means that early voting for most counties does end tomorrow on Friday. So if you are planning to vote early, make your plans to get out and vote. And if you're holding on to an absentee ballot, make sure that you go drop it off at your county clerk's office just to make sure it arrives on time. You don't want to take a gamble on the mail system. But despite it being just a few days until Election Day, there are lawsuits happening right now regarding the election, and the most recent filed by Representative Priscilla Giddings. Giddings, who is running for lieutenant governor, filed a civil lawsuit last Friday against a number of people, including the current Secretary of State, Lawrence Denny, as well as a number of county clerks across our area. It does include the clerk in Ada, Boise, Bannock, Canyon, and Twin Falls. So the reason for all of this, let's head to the documents. According to the lawsuit, they're saying, quote, to permit poll challengers and poll watchers to engage in certain activities during the already underway absentee and early voting phase of the primary election. Giddings is saying that the elected officials and the Secretary of State's office are not allowing them to do things the way they'd like to. Now, currently, under Idaho code, each party can pick one person to be a poll watcher on election day and during a partisan election. Now, those people are allowed to be at the polls to watch poll workers count and receive votes. There's another job here. A poll challenger is someone who can challenge voters as to their qualifications. But in order to be present, the county chairman and the secretary of the political party must submit a written request to the county clerk no later than 12 days before an election. But there is really nothing in Idaho code about early voting or absentee ballot signature checks, for example. So what Representative Giddings is asking for is for both watchers and challengers to be present during early voting and during the collection and verification of absentee ballots as they come into the offices at the clerk's offices. And that's something that will end tomorrow, the early voting period as we talk about. So Giddings petitioned for an ex parte hearing, meaning that she wanted the court to fulfill her request to let them do what they want to before allowing other parties to respond. And the court said no to that idea and some documents. The attorneys for the respondents, including Mr. Denny and the county clerks, well, they tell us this. They say Representative Giddings did not tell them about the lawsuit and that this could have been done in a much different way through a temporary restraining order or a preliminary injunction. So it goes on and the judge agreed, sort of. Judge Jason Scott says that the court is quote unquote unpersuaded that there is any substantial evidence to proceed without allowing the respondents to well, respond. So a hearing was set for four o'clock today saying that candidate Giddings should be prepared to further explain her position on the issues during the hearing. So that hearing, it started about an hour ago, and I'll tell you this, at last check, it is still going on with both uh, the collection of people inside the courtroom. You can see here with Representative Giddings sitting closest to us, uh, and that's her lawyer right there. On the far side of the room, you have representatives for the county clerks we mentioned, as well as a representative for the Secretary of State. Both sides are kind of getting their pieces out there right now. You can see the judge, he's in there listening. He's really driving home to the Giddings defense. He's asking, what exactly would you like me to do about this situation? At last check, the defense for the Secretary of State and the county clerks were saying that they were taking a real quick look at everything. And I am just hearing from my producer, Danny, that in the last few minutes, the judge in this case has actually dismissed the whole thing. So long story short, everything we just told you about, you can throw it away because the case has been dismissed. But it does bring up an important question that county clerks were going to have to likely address at the state legislature. Will they create a system for, I guess, poll watchers to go in and look at absentee ballots as they're being uh, verified on the signature. Because when you send your absentee ballot back through the mail, there's a signature that goes on it, and that signature is eventually checked at the county clerk's office. We're going to get more into this as the whole situation unfolds, but the uh, lawsuit that Giddings did file just dismissed moments ago, breaking here at 5 o'clock.